it's the summer soul. How do I say this? Summer solstice. That's it. You've been having. Oh, I've been at Stonehenge. Oh, no, so you. good. I love it. You've been to Stonehenge it. on yeah. the summer solstice. Yeah, Brilliant, I did it once, one, one year, maybe about six years ago. Oh, it was amazing. So I stayed good. all night. So <laughs> good. It was so so good. Anyway, it's the summer solstice next week, and so the perfect time to explore the power of crystals. Mm. Yes, Emma Lucy Knowles knows everything there is to know about them, and is here with a masterclass to help you discover the perfect crystal for you. And whether you believe in their power or you don't, they certainly can make a sparkling addition to your home. Isn't that right, Emma? They can, completely, yeah. completely. They're so pretty. They are, and they're doing something just by looking at them. Really? So, yeah, totally. So we're going to have an express masterclass, mm -hmm. the who, what, why, where, okay. or the rock family, and then we're going to go through some pieces Ooh, based I'm on different things in right. the world right now. So... Everything's energy. We're all giving off a vibe. Everything's got a vibe. Even the thoughts you think have a vibration. So we're attracted to things by energy. Crystals, we're all electrical, aren't we? Absolutely. All electrical you're currents. giving off a, a bat signal out into the world, like this is who I am and this is my vibration, right? <laughs> so you need like something to assist you with keeping that energy nice and clear. And that's what crystals do. They're naturally occurring minerals formed under thousands of years of pressure, like us, obviously yeah. not thousands of years, but pressure. And they have the ability to help flow the energy in and out of our energetic body. And these are all created from the Earth. Mother Earth's goodies. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Completely, completely. <clears throat> so what they're doing is they're like vibrating, pulsing, giving off a signal. And, and very quickly, we've got this energetic body. We've got seven chakras that run through the body. And these are like vortexes of energy that run back and forward from the body, kind of digesting energy in and out of the system. What's a the chakra then? So it's an energy centre. And is it in different places on the body? So they run up, up and down the body. So it's a whole other topic. We have to do another topic on that. Yeah. Oh, that's another, that's yes. another show. <laughs> we'll get you back. Yeah, thank you. Um, but what they do is, is when you're feeling full of life, and yeah. full of glee and a little bit drunk on life, those energy centres are spinning open in a clockwise direction. Oh. We feel like abundant and, and just full of hope and love. When we feel like life's taken from us or we feel someone's hurt us or when someone's lied to us, we feel it, but we're not too sure why, the energy starts to spin the other way. So we start to reduce in. So like a turtle going into its shell, your energy yeah. starts to reduce, which is actually, you know, self-defence. So Such yeah. an important thing to do. I don't know if you know this, you might not. Um, is it true Tesla was a big fan of, of crystals? Yeah, as I believe it. I'm not a, big in the science space, but yes, yes. There's, there's so much. It's frequency, like quartz in, in watches and things like yeah. that. So it's, Makes it's sense, everywhere. It? Yeah. So what crystals do with those energy sensors is they work like lenses, so like a glasses lens. So when you lay them on the energy sensors, you've got them in your hands too, the chakras. If you think about universal energy coming in through the body, yeah, pick away, play away. What's happening is, is it's, the energy's hitting the crystal and it's transforming the energy to the vibration of the piece. So it's pulling in that energy and at the same time, this is why healing's quite hard sometimes, it's pulling out from the body that's anything that's stopping you aligning with that energy that, that you want or that you're looking for in your life. Make a nice present, wouldn't they? Lovely, yes. But I think when you're picking a present, it's always going to be what, what do they want, what do they need, rather than you're a stress bag, so I've got you this crystal. <laughs> so it's going to be more. What is this situation going on here? We're going to kick off with love. Oh, love. I love the love here. Yes. This is... Oh, I'm going to feel yeah, this. Feel, feel it. Get involved yeah. in the love, Josie. So, rose quartz. I think we should always start with rose quartz. We kind of overlook her sometimes because there's so much of her on the planet, but yeah. I think that's exactly why there is. We need more love on the planet yeah. more now than ever. She's about unconditional love, so it's not about just kind of having it and going, love just going to fall in love with somebody, but it's about falling in love with yourself. Yes. So it's softening your view. I put this in front of my bathroom mirror because that's the place where I give myself the most oh. stick. So the vibration of that energy moving between the two is and absolutely perfect for that. Doing it. Yeah. Yeah, or catch yourself, because it's not about them going there and going, I want to eradicate it. It's about them being there and softening that so you can rework your system and go, right, this is actually how I want to be and how I want to behave. I mean, this is a big one. Is that quite pricey? This wasn't, actually. That's the thing it's with it. They don't have to be, but you do actually... It's you learned so that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to know is you want to know... How much that there? I actually think that was about £80. Pounds. Oh, right, I thought it would be like a couple of hundred. But I got it from someone who was a, a book supplier and he, does, he likes to sell them at trade price. So right. always be mindful. Oh, really? Always be mindful, yes. Yeah. Yes, they don't have to cost the earth. And what's this one? So this is my little dream team for... Um, this is Dalmatian Stone Jasper and Tiger's Eye. So I'm pairing these two together. But because what's going on in, in love generally is that we lose trust and we lose confidence and oh, yeah. trust of who Tell we know how it. to love. Yeah. So I wanted to bring this pairing together to say, right, actually, we can work with these to go, actually, it's not me getting it wrong. It's just that, actually, I had to learn a lesson and now it's about getting myself back on, on the bike, so to speak, and get going with it. Oh, wow. And Kunzai, we put that into the mix as well. It's yeah. an amazing crystal that allows us to attract what we deserve rather than what we think we deserve. 
Okay. Yeah, good. So, so grab hold of that one. They're, they're like healing, oh, healing oh, love. Oh, absolutely. Right. Should we roll oh, on? I enjoyed the love area. Yeah. I feel, yeah. I feel like I've got a lot, a lot of to give you. Yeah. All. You've also got a lot of joy to give. You were talking about that oh, earlier, yes. and I really resonate with that for you guys. Oh. So, and I think we do. We all give off, like I said, a signal, so a vibe, and energy. Orange cowsai. We'll start with yeah. this one. Sorry, girlies. Uh, orange cowsai is oh. all about kind of like personal power. We all have a fire within our belly. We have a natural chi, a natural fire. And now, you know, the sun's not out as much as she should be right now. Yeah. We need to be generating a little bit more of that personal energy. So she's great for this. And the reason you picked up this, it literally translates as fire. It's called pyrite. It's beautiful. It burns through anything that's not kind of bringing sunshine into your life. Oh, it's in the shape of a heart. We love that. Shapes are gorgeous. Look at that. And then carnelian is like, when I stopped drinking coffee, I, I, I used carnelian because it gave me a bounce back in my step. And sometimes it can be hard to kind of get yourself up and motivated in yeah. the morning. So having a crystal that's going to do that for you. I love that we're doing a workout that needs at the to same get me. Time. I haven't been to the gym for so long. This might get, get me you into there. the gym, do you think? Yes. All right. It's there. If you, what do you, do you just leave them on your side or do you do things with them? Then? So intention is everything with crystals. You want to give them a job. You want them to be doing something for you. You need to be working hard. It's very easy to go, right, I've got that and it's not doing anything for me, so I don't, don't believe in it. I'll pop it in my bra, I think. Pop it in your, skin yeah, to skin's really good, really important. Pop you can you never tell. The thing with yeah, it is... Put the little one in, that's too oh, big. Okay. <laughs> put that little I'm one in. I'm not sure these are coming home with me, that's it. <laughs> put Love it in and then you just got it there, look. Oh, but yeah. it's on the heart yeah. line then, right? So it's on that energy yes. centre. Yeah. So we're in line with that. So women were really lucky nice, for that. We're really lucky. Yeah. Right, let's come and talk about stress what for a little cold? bit. Stress is something we're all experiencing. Oh, it's it. probably getting kind of more intense as we go. So I wanted to bring in some things that could help you start to dissolve the stress. Obviously, we can't get rid of the stress. This is black obsidian, very grounding, a larvic stone. So sometimes when we are, and all these crystals here on the table, so yeah. we've got green apophyllite, we've got pink tourmaline, and we've got black obsidian. Yeah. Being a stress means we're sort of either too far in the future in our thinking yes. or a bit too stuck in the past. So if you're anxious or... Right. Yeah. So these are going to help us dissolve any kind of old triggers and traits and help us feel grounded in the moment so that we can be really present where we are, knowing that sometimes I can't stop the bad things happening, but how I react to them, I totally yeah, can. Yeah, you can always sort out your own reaction, Absolutely. Can't you? Brilliant. OK. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So with the Euros right around the corner, we wanted to talk about luck. So... Luck is we've got jade here and we've got selenite here. So oh. and you're going straight for the Amazonite. So the, yeah, no, you totally do. We can talk about whichever one you want. So the jade is very lucky in lots of cultures. You'll see that they use that particular crystal as a totem of luck. What again, it doesn't do is not about saying we're going to give you that and you're going to win the lottery tomorrow. Yeah, you might. You might, but what it's saying is it's like it balances your energy because manifesting is all about being ready and prepared to hold and, and bring that energy within to that space. Right. So. Yes. I like a bit of luck. We're going to go and look at particular crystals for you guys now, though. That's what's so important. These are our That's crystals. really important. Who do you think is whose? I think these are mine. They're... No, I think that one's mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think they both, they both cross. They both cross. You wanted to talk about kind of protection from energies, right? So well, you've got the energy. We've run yeah. out of time. Oh, yeah. We've run ah, out of time. I know. I thank you so much. I'm so sorry, but this but is love. I'll love. Keep, keep these. Protection. Thank you. No, thank you very pleasure. much. Pleasure. Thank love. you. Thank you for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. We upload new content content every day. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss out and we'll see you in the morning.